Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I heard recently about a fellow who rushed into a filling station and jumped in the phone booth and began dialing a number rather quickly. The other party on the other end of the line answered and he said, uh, Hello, sir, could you use a hard-working, honest young fella at your company? The answer came back as the filling station attendant was listening in because the fellow was speaking so loudly and with, so, uh, and with such enthusiasm. And he said, oh, you already have a hard-working, honest young fella. Well, thanks anyway. Goodbye. He hung up and he walked out humming and singing to himself, smiling. The attendant looked at him and he said, uh, how can you be smiling when they really don't need you? Oh, he said, you don't understand. You see, I'm the hardworking, honest young fellow. I was checking up on my job. <laughs> now, I wonder how many of us, if we were to uh, stop on the way home tonight and pull, pull into a filling station and call our boss and ask if they needed a hardworking, honest person to fill a per particular position that we are now fulfilling, I wonder how many of them would say, yeah, come on in tomorrow. I'd like to talk to somebody who can handle that job with a measure of honesty, hard work, and proficiency. We learned last week that a job is not something to fill up our time any way we can spend it so that we can uh, get to church on Sunday. We discovered, in fact, that a job is our calling. It is our vocation. It is not something we do to fill in the gaps between our religious life. It is, in fact, the measure in which we will be rewarded in heaven. The way you spend 40, 50, 60 or more hours of your week is in a great measure going to determine your rewards in the presence of the Lord. You see, unfortunately, when we get turned on spiritually, many people often get turned off vocationally. And the result is a tragedy. And more harm is done during our Monday through Saturday lives than our righteous life could ever make up for one day a week. And I hope through this message tonight and last Sunday night's message together, you are beginning to see that your calling, your work, your job has to be uh, the most important thing next to your walk with Christ and next to your home life. As I heard said at a Bible conference last summer, there was a conference held earlier, and the director of the conference said, we really emphasize the importance among the laymen of every man realizing that his calling is of God. And by the end of the conference, we had hammered this home so hard that I think the message came through because one man was introduced and asked to give his work and then his testimony, and he stood up and gave his work by saying, I'm an ordained plumber. <laughs> Whatever you are, you're ordained into it. You're called into it. If you're a salesman, you're an ordained salesman. If you're called to be a seamstress, you're an ordained seamstress. If you're a physician, if you're a homemaker, you're an ordained physician or homemaker. If you're an attorney, if you're a bus driver, if you work in auto repair, you're ordained into that. God's calling. There is no such thing as there being a sacred life on Sunday and then the secular job on Monday. Every phase of the Christian life is sacred, or at least it should be. So when we come to this study tonight, we're coming to something that is not sac a secular, but something very sacred. Many Christians tend to label their lives and activities as spiritual or secular. But our lives aren't divided into those categories. Every moment we live, we're relating to God, and His desire for us is to be holy people, no matter what we do for a living. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, You and Your Job, Part 2 was copyrighted in 1973, and this Lifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 
by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.